Hey everyone, the name is Eric Dor, and today, dear viewers, we are talking about the 16 personality types in a positive state of flow. Now, when reading online, have you ever maybe felt that the personality descriptions online are a bit too positive? So yeah, okay, they talk about yourself and your personality type, but they mo mainly use positive wording. They show the strengths of your personality type, not the weaknesses. They show what's great about your personality type, but not what's bad about it. There is a logical explanation for this. First, of course these kind of articles sell better. People are more likely to relate to an article about themselves if it is positive. They're more likely to share it to their friends and family members if it makes them seem like they are geniuses, smart, talented, attractive, outgoing, friendly, and amazing in many different ways. There is, however, a second reason for why these kind of articles are written the way they are. And it has to do with flow. So often what I find is it's the most easy to recognize a person's true personality type by looking at who that person is in a positive state of flow. How is this personality type at their best? It turns out that when people are at their best, when people are and wake up in the morning feeling energized, motivated, confident in themselves, and emotionally stable and calm, they are more likely to act in a way that is consistent with their own values, their own intentions, their own ideals, and their own interests. Beyond that, flow tends to be triggered by doing things that your personality type will love. So an INFJ is more likely to enter into a state of flow when engaged with certain activities. Today, in today's video, we're talking about the 16 personality types and how each personality type tends to act in a positive state of flow. Okay, so let's start with ENFJs. I mean, ENFJs, they can act in many different ways from situation to situation. Perhaps under stress, they might appear more scattered or more distracted than usual. Perhaps when they are feeling low on energy, they can be more introverted. Yes, everyone changes based on how they feel and what they are doing and who they are with. But an ENFJ is the best distinguished by when they are talking to an audience of people about a passion a cause or something important to them. ENFJs are the most easy to recognize when they are speaking out for something they care about, often other people. ENFJs like to spend time taking care of other people, and in particular about the group or the community as a whole. They often prefer more abstract or idealistic causes, so they enjoy much more working towards some kind of vision or utopia rather than practically engaging themselves with some kind of non-profit work or social activism. Similarly, an INFJ is a humanitarian, but often in a flow state, they tend to be a lot more introverted. That means they often spend time writing or working on an idea or thinking about a philosophical or humanitarian problem and how best to solve it. INFJs like to think of ways to deal with humanitarian problems and ways to help the tribe often from a distance rather than directly together with other people. INFPs as introverts also like these ideas, but often their intuition is a lot more creative, which means they often work with and have a lot of different ideas and a lot of different uh, kind of ethical values or viewpoints that uh, ring true to them and to their heart and their authentic self. INFPs in a flow state spend time fighting for working towards being the kind of people they feel they should be based on what they think is right and working on improving themselves and understanding themselves better they seek to be the most authentic versions of themselves. ENFPs like all feeling types they tend to be very benevolent and positive when in a best version of themselves. That means the ENFPs will be working to help different people improve on themselves and to become better. ENFPs like executing and realizing dreams and potential. So when they see a cause or see a person working towards something, they like to coordinate and help different people work together better. ENFPs are like the spiders in the web connecting people and making sure that people can be their best versions of themselves. 
ENTPs have perhaps the most creative version of flow. When ENTPs are in flow, their minds are rushing through ideas. And the thing that separates ENTPs from other creative types is that they can be in a state of brainstorming and innovation and execution of ideas while maintaining emotional balance and feeling calm and steady and confident in themselves and in their ideas. There is less of that creative perfectionism and more in that uh, desire to improve and fix and get better and sharpen and test and work and execute and test and realize and work from idea to idea. Problem after problem, ENTPs are working through all of them confidently and passionately. INTP flow state is a lot more introverted as they work through and think about different problems and issues. They spend time reflecting and analyzing and evaluating different ideas from their pros and cons. INTPs love that running through and going back and arguing back and forth. Is that better or that better? Could that work more or could that be done differently? And there is less outgoing implementation and innovation in what they do and more knowledge and searching for knowledge searching for answers with intjs you see that even more because they are inj types they love that finding of focus and eliminating distraction working in a quiet office with as little external stimulation as possible just working on their ideas Thinking, drawing, fixing, strategizing, planning, scheduling, anticipating resources necessary, thinking about how much you need, how you will do it, how it will be implemented, how it will look, visualizing, speculating, and speculating even more. ENTJs, they would get bored by that very quickly and they need to get to work. They need to see, okay, what can I do with this idea? What can I do with this opportunity? How much is it worth? How can I execute it? How can I sell it? How can I market it? How can I brand it? ENTJs, they work a lot on putting projects together, working with other people, making sure people work together to get it to happen. Yeah, and in ESTJs, that productive energy is even more intense and passionate because ESTJs, they like to stand up on stage or in a group and say, hey, everybody, let's do this. Hey, guys, we can make this target. We can work on this. We can improve this. We can fix that. And ESTJs, they work from a sensing types more a state of acceptance rather than a state of perfectionism. There is less of that. This is not working right. I could fix that. I could do that differently. And so there is more, this is good. This can be better. This can be improved on. This can be imp better. And so ESTJs, they just work more, more, more. Do, do, do. Produce, produce, produce. And there is less of that criticism or worry that, oh, this is not turning out good. ESFJs, they have that too, but they have that acceptance as well. They have just base acceptance and understanding. They have benevolence. They have, hey, everybody, do your best. Everybody can do. As long as everybody does what they do best, that's good enough. As long as you give what you can, that's enough. ESFJs, they are very understanding, very forgiving, very benevolent people. They believe in second chances. They believe in allowing, tolerating, accepting, making sure everybody gets along, making sure the tribe can come together, that people can understand each other, and making sure that people fit in, helping people fit in. That's an ESFJ's flow call. That's what puts an ESFJ in a state of flow. ISFJs, they have that too, but also they have more patience and more balance and more harmony and more peace of mind. There is less interest in going out and meeting new people and making sure everybody is okay. And there is more sitting down with other people, those you know and like and get along with and appreciate, and to help and support those people, to be loyal to somebody, to be with somebody, to laugh with somebody, to relax with somebody, to make somebody else feel at ease with themselves, to help somebody and to sit with somebody for a longer time without getting bored, without getting distracted, without becoming too focused on their own needs, just being able to work together with other people. 
ISTJs, they have that. They can be very patient. They can be great teachers. But often in flow, they can work more critically with a task. They are not as afraid of saying when something is working less. They are not afraid of calling somebody out if they are being <laughs> doing something wrong or if they are doing something in a bad way. They can work critically thinking, okay, how can this be done better? How can we work together better? How can we improve on what we are doing? How can we be more productive? How can we be less distracted? How can we be more organized? Now a feeling type might say, I can do that too. But often what they forget it, ISTJs enjoy this stuff. They like it, they find it fun. ISTPs, they have that even more. They like to fix things. They, If you can give them something that's broken, something that's not working correctly, they will happily jump at that and be like, okay, why is it not working? What can be done differently? What made it not work? What can be done to improve it? What can be done to fix it? And so they can be real with you. You know, if they're not happy with you, if things are not working, they will say, yeah, this is not working. This is not improving. This is not working correctly. We need to do something differently. We need to fix that. You need to go back to this. You need to change that. The ISFP is a bit more about making peace with these things. Just making peace with it. Accepting it. It is what it is. Everybody is what they are. Everybody is who they are. And you cannot ask anybody to be something that they're, they're not. You can't ask people to change themselves. You just go with the flow and see the best in people and accept what you can, what things are. And be true to yourself. Just be who you are. Just be yourself. There is nothing more. You cannot be something more than what you are. You can only be yourself and that's good enough. It's interesting when you go to ESFPs because it becomes we should be ourselves, not just I should be myself, but we should be ourselves. You should be real with me. You should be honest with me. Everybody should be honest with each other's. If I feel something, I'm going to say it. If I care about something or if something is important to me, I'm going to speak out about it. And you should too. ESFPs, they like to get people to open up and share just as much as they like to share and open up themselves. While sometimes labeled attention seekers, they are also people that give a lot of attention to other people. So why do you feel that way? What made you like that? What made you think that way? How come you think this way? Listening very authentically to you with that sensing base of searching to fit in and connect with you, to be with you, to be one with you, to be together with you. Yeah, believe it or not, but ESTPs, they also care a lot about fitting in and connecting with other people. So that's why a lot of time they spend time trying to be useful to other people. How can I be useful to you? How can I be good to you? How can I be the best version possible for you? While very competitive and while enjoying to compete with other people, they compete often off a desire to be useful and to be handy for other people. They want to be the best so that they can be and that they can fit in with the tribe as a whole. And they like to help other people get better as well. They like to say, hey, you could do that differently. Hey, have you tried this? Hey, have you improved that? And so they are people that solve problems both for themselves and other people. But if you are not open to their advice, well, that's your problem. So yeah, that was my video on the 16 personality types in flow. And if you like this video, feel free to check out these videos above. And of course, if you're curious about something more like 16 personality types in stress or the 16 personality types based on what puts them in a state of flow or helps them maintain balance and energy or what can give them energy or balance if they are feeling stress or anxiety, let me know in the comments down below and I hope to see you all in the next video.